one sad irony in Iowa is that the Republican trifecta, as soon as they took control, they already had the governor's office <laughs> and control of the Iowa House, and then they took control of the Iowa Senate in the 2016 um, Donald Trump's coattail. So in 2017, one of the first things they did was defund Planned Parenthood, all of their non-abortion services. So that was primarily contraceptive services, but also STD testing and a few other things, pap smears and so on, that the state used to be funded through a state program. And the irony is that abortions have gone up. Iowa was on a trend for a decade of declining abortions from 2008 until 2018. And then from 2018 to 2019, the number of abortions performed in Iowa went up by 25 percent. And then in 2020 went up by another 14 percent. And we don't have statistics. Wow, those are big numbers. They're very big numbers, and they weren't. I when I looked into it because I I request those numbers every year from our State Department of Public Health, and it wasn't an influx of women from Missouri or Nebraska, more restrictive states. It was primarily um, patients in Iowa, and so this was, of course, Democrats in the legislature said this is what we were trying to tell you that if you defund Planned Parenthood contraceptive services, there was this fantasy that somehow uh, that Iowans were going to be able to get the same services at other providers. But Planned Parenthood was providing a huge amount of family planning services all over the state. And when these clinics closed, I mean, there are also other issues that STDs have gone up, particularly in southeast Iowa. That's been a big problem because and that's an area where a couple of former Planned Parenthood clinics have closed. So it's just a disaster. And even if you just take their goal at face value that they would like to see fewer abortions performed, they're not being successful at that.